I just had this crazy interesting epiphany and I have about a minute to share it with you. So there's a saying, imagine that the sink is flooded and water's going all over, overflowing and all over the floor and there's a guy mopping it up frantically, but it keeps overflowing and you walk up and you say, bro, uh, why don't you just turn off the sink or unplug the drain? And the guy's mopping and goes, are you kidding me? I'm too busy mopping up all this water. So we get in this frantic state, but it's a, it's, it's a reactive state. Now, what if you could like leave and go to the store and go get it like a wrench or something, but you have to leave and abandon that water and let it just keep flooding everything while you're gone. It would, that's insane. You can't just abandon that, that situation. That's chaotic. I'm talking about divorcing yourself from chaos so you can look at what's going on and then go back in and effectively execute and do the right thing without this emotional residue. But what if you were born and raised by a bunch of people who they also always frantically mop mopped up the water and went into a reactive state and you observed that. So the neurons in your brain fired together and wired together to, to, to be in that reactive state. And you never had anybody teach you it otherwise. And anybody, or if you had an idea to leave and abandon the flooding water so you can go and find a wrench and fix it, that they would start beating you over the head with the mop handle saying that you're insane for abandoning the situation, abandoning it when you should have been doing something about it. Does this make sense? I'm fascinated by this because there are certain times when I was really, really busy and overwhelmed and I would have someone say something to me, like a business coach. I have a couple people that coach me. Why don't you have a checklist? And if you read the book, The Checklist Manifesto, it's phenomenal. And I was like, what do you mean? I don't have time to sit down and create a step-by-step -step organized checklist. I have this chaos to deal with right now. I got to fix Oh my God. And the feeling of stopping and doing a checklist seems simple when you speak it. But I literally couldn't even do that because when you're in a reactive state and your amygdala is fight or flight mode and you're in this reactive fight, 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 flight or freeze state, you can't even access the consciousness and, it, and to push through, like pushing through it actually gives you anxiety so bad it feels like you're dying. So what are you? Are you nuts? Are you a schizophrenic? Or are you just in an unresourceful state? If you don't actually believe that, believe, this is all about belief, that there's a better way or it can work for you because the neurons in your brain haven't fired to create the arcing connection, the bridge, the epiphany bridge, the epiphanizing bridge that makes you go, oh, I can do it this way. Like if you read the book by Spencer Howard Johnson, uh, Who Moved My Cheese? I've talked about this before, where mice in a maze will find cheese, eat the cheese when the cheese is gone. They'll look for a little bit and then they'll just, they bounce and they go around the maze looking for other cheese. There's no more cheese left. Human beings will stay in that corner, where's the cheese, where's the cheese, the cheese is gone, and they'll, they'll bang their head up against the wall until they literally starve to death and die. Something so stubborn about humans is we're such these creature comfort, repetitive cavemen that we will not hang on to a life preserver to save our own lives. We won't climb up into the boat. We won't build our own boat. We're victims. Some of us, sometimes. So step one is to recognize and have a cognitive awareness when you are in a fight or flight mode and say, oh, oh wait, I'm, do I'm doing that thing again. And if you read books by Stuart Wilde, books about in white enlightening, some meditation by Eckhart Tolle, and then even Cosmic Consciousness by Ken Wilber, or The Way of the Superior Man by David Data, these are just books and they point to the territory, but the territory is not the map. The map is not the territory, which means the ritual is not the state. What I mean is going through these rituals and they're, they're a signaling indicator. The finger pointing at the moon is not the moon. It's just the finger pointing at the moon. When you actually get there and you're on the moon, you're, oh my God, you're here. So you have to visit a state. There's lines, level states and stages of consciousness. And when you can re when you can either one, uh, leap into a state, take a leap of faith, why faith is so important, totally different talk. Or you can trust somebody else too to take you to some place that you don't even like. You trust them. You trust them more than you trust yourselves, like a coach, to lead you into a place that's so uncomfortable where you can now build new neural networks, neural networks where you go, oh my God, this actually does work. I can do this. Wow, I can actually do this. Why didn't I do this earlier? And now 
if you look at the, the stages of the competency progression model, there's a whole nother talk. <laughs> you lean and you start to tilt the fulcrum. I'm obsessed with this. Things aren't all like all or none or red or green. It's on a gradient. These are percentages. So you, you ask yourself, what percentage of this false fiction is true? Am I in a fiction? You have the cognitive, right? Either you have a cognitive distortion or a cognitive truth. And then you can go back and choose which emotion you want to have. Let's, let's be productive. So this is all like neuroscience and coaching type shit, but it's amazing when you blend it with NLP and set neuroassociative anchors and trigger points, you can literally do like mental time travel shit, and which I, I'm learning, and you can quantum leap to higher places and basically be happier, healthier, make more money, better relationships, I gotta go.